Welcome back, my name is Bill and this is Six Round Studio. Today's the big day, we're gonna remove that blue tape and then add back some darker uh, stain to that check ring to sort of enhance it or make it pop out, all right? So let's get that blue tape off and if we're lucky, the guy, no finish got or seeped in under the tape and then uh, we may only have to do uh, some small um, amounts of touch up with the uh, check ring tools. Let's go ahead and get that done. This is somewhat of a delicate job, believe it or not, because the tape, when you peel it, it kind of wants to go all in its own direction. And it can be a little frustrating because you want to just pull it off in one sheet. And the tape does not always want to cooperate. And if all of this comes off easy, it's not such a big deal. But I have to also be careful that I don't scratch the, the finish outside of the checkering itself. And of course, part of the problem is the finish glued the outside edge of the tape to the stock. Oh, there's a good piece. So there's one side. Let's go ahead and start side two. So one of my friends and longtime customers down at the retail store and a faithful watcher of this YouTube channel, he's always saying to me, Bill, when are you going to pull that blue tape? Bill, when are you going to pull that blue tape? So Earl, today we're pulling the blue tape and special for you i'm dedicating this episode to you to earl so i expect a really nice comment at the bottom of this video earl what i'm doing with the exacto knife is i'm trying to break that um, edge of the tape where the finish has gone over and it's Wanting that tape to stick. If I can break it, it seems to be much happier coming off. Like that. family there we go it's all done got the tape off um, before I put the stain on it I am going to go back over it really quickly with these checkering tools to make sure I've got all the all the blue tape out and that any you know, any of those lines that aren't pointed up the way I like them are going to get pointed up I'm going to do this under a magnifying glass um, so you may not be able to see this but <laughs> So the reason I had to rechecker the edge is because around that tape edge, the finish had built up and it actually filled in that outer border of the, of the checkering with finish. So I wanted to get all that out uh, so that we had a nice, nice crisp line that defined the checkering. So that was the reason for that. So we're going to mix up some darker stain and we're going to add it into that check ring to sort of pop it out to make it bold so it stands out uh, from the rest of the stock. Now, 
uh, mixed up again, same same formula as always. I mixed up my normal my normal finish. Uh, I'm going to this will be a little bit of an experiment, I think, because I've done this many times before. But uh, every wood takes stain just a little bit different. I'm going to add um, a dark blackish color called Castle Earth, and it will turn this stain very very dark. which is my intention. When you add those oil, artist oils in, it takes a little bit for the oils to, to break down, to um, mix in with the finish. Now, it's black, but I don't want it to be black. I want to make, give it some earth tone. So I've got some burnt umber, and we'll earn, add in that burnt, burnt umber, which will help give it a little bit of an earthy tone as well. So it'll be, um, it'll be dark, darkish, but it'll also have that a nice earth, earth tone to it as well. Now I'll probably do this in two coats, so I'll do a coat right now, and then I'll come back uh, later today, and I'll put the second coat on, and I'll let both coats dry overnight. And then I'll bring you back at, when it's all dried up, and I'll do some I'll do some beauty shots and do some close-ups and let you see what this looks like. I have a, I have a toothbrush, and this toothbrush uh, I've got it marked finish, so I only use it for finish because I want to make sure I don't make a mistake and grab it for cleaning guns, you know. So anyway, um, so let's just give this an experiment and see how this looks. not quite as dark as I'd like it to be so we're going to add back in uh, a little bit of the of the castle earth should have probably left it alone and not added the burnt umber in but that's all right one thing about colors is they're infinitely mixable you can keep changing colors that actually is already pretty attractive And what will happen is when I come back tonight, if the color's not quite as black or dark as I'd like it to be, I'll just make up, mix up a new batch and get it just a little bit darker as well. That's better. I'm telling you what, guys. Um, Comparing this to what it looked like when I started a year ago, um, what an amazing transformation. So comment below. I'm thinking what I'm going to do uh, is make a single video beginning to end of the restoration of this stock. I know the gun's not done, but I think this, this whole... Uh, restoration of this gun stock, is, gun stock is such a fascinating process that I think I'm going to make a single video that uh, you know will you know be 10, 15, 20 minutes long and just sort of detail the entire restoration of this stock. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, guys. I think that would be a fun video to make. I've got the footage already, so I won't have to film it all over again. Gonna let this dry for the next eight or ten hours, and I'll come back tonight. We'll put on the second coat. And tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys the beauty shots.